Welcome to my fifth grade classroom at Crestview Elementary. My name is Ann Stewart Kyber, and these are my wonderful fifth graders. We are going to do some real life math today using decimals and some fast food menus. Okay, my friends, we have spent a week talking about multiplying our decimals. I want to put you to the test. Has anybody looked through what you're doing today? No. 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 Hey, take a peek. Look at that first word problem. You got a second word problem. And then you've got a few more, and then you are going to create your own word problems today. Raise your hand if you have been to a fast food restaurant in the last 10 days. Wow. So, fast food. I want to raise a cane. Raise a cane? Necessary. We take full advantage of that. The first task that you are going to do is you have 20 bucks to spend at a fast food restaurant. I am going to give you a menu. I'm going to give them to you face down. You are not going to flip them over until everybody has gotten their menu. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. And this is not the menu you're going to do the entire activity with. They're random. I do not know what you're getting. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's an extra. I knew there was an extra floating around. Don't flip it over yet. I don't want you to spoil the surprise. No, it was not. <laughs> okay, does everybody have a menu? Yes. Is the suspense killing you? Yes. Flip over your menu. Okay, come back in five and four, three, two. Wow, thanks, guys. So, Here's the deal. At your table, you have a Burger King, at least a Burger King, a Wendy's, a McDonald's, and a Chick-fil-A. You may use every menu, but the one that you have started with is the one that you are going to complete for task one. You have been given $20 to buy food not really your choice right now because I gave you this. Of your choice, what are the possible options of what you can buy if you're questioning if tax is included? It's already there. Explain your answers using words, pictures, numbers, and symbols. You got an and in there. It's not an or. So I want to see words pictures, numbers, and symbols for this one task, for this first task. Do you understand? You've got $20 to spend. Are you going to, what operations are you going to do? Why are you going to add, Logan? So you can add all of them up to see if they cost $20. You could add. Is there another way that you could do that? Bria, what are you going to do? Multiply. How are you going to multiply? Multiply um, two things to see one of the possible outcomes. Okay, so let's say if I were looking at Wendy's, there's a chicken wrap on that menu. Maybe I want two chicken wraps. Maybe I want three chicken wraps. I could either add those, right? Or I could multiply. You got some decimals to deal with. We're also talking money. How many places are going to be? to the right of the decimal if we're talking money. How many places are there for change when we're talking money? Just two. So you're only going to the hundredths place. You do not have to venture into the thousandths place. Okay? So I'm going to give you, let's start with like 15 minutes to see 
what you can accomplish. Can you spend the 20 bucks? Probably pretty easy to spend the 20 bucks. Do you want to check yourself before you start? What could you do? It, before, before you did the actual math, what could you do? You could round. You could estimate what you're spending. And then go back and see if your math is correct. But I challenge you, I need words, I need pictures, I need numbers. And what math symbols do you think I'm looking for? Our signs, right? The multiplication sign, the addition sign, subtraction sign. If you want to divide, I don't, I'm going to need some explanation. If you choose to divide, you better be able to explain to me why you chose to divide. What's up? You've got to get as close. That's a great question. Jacob asked, can you save your money? If you figure out the three items you want, can you save that leftover money? I want you to get as close to 20 as you can. Oh, no. That adds a whole other layer, right? Because it'd be super easy to pick the Baconator for $3.33 and be done. But that's not what I want. It's, can you take leftovers home? Of course. If you get four sandwiches, I hope you can't eat four sandwiches while you're hanging out at Burger King. But yes, you can take your leftovers home. You got to get as close to 20 bucks as you can. Questions? Do you want us to do every possible outcome or just the one that we choose? Ooh, Brielle had a great question. Do I want multiple outcomes? Do I want multiple choices? Sure. If you've got the time in that 15 minutes, give me two different options. Okay, but you're spending $20 as close as you can get to 20 bucks. The reason why I gave your table groups different menus is because I want you to talk together about these, but I also wanted you to do your own work. Because if Ethan and I are both working on Chick-fil-A, what if we didn't want to choose the same thing we're trying to share the card? So that's why I wanted you to have all different menus, but I want you to talk about your thinking with your neighbor, talk about your thinking with your person across from you. If you've got questions, raise your hand. Use each other's resources, okay? Any other questions before you get started? You got 20 bucks. Let's see what you decide to order. Go. You didn't estimate first? Oh, you're pretty close, but you still got, ooh. What are you gonna add to that? Too bad you can't add a piece of Snickers pie. Oh, you already have Snickers pie. So what did you do first? What do you mean? Like, what have you done so far for you? Uh, I've, I've done, uh, Hmm. What would you want? What would you want to add? Would this work or is that going to be too much? Too much. Yeah. See if that works. Okay, the only thing, because you chose to do addition for this, what's really important that you include? Mm-hmm. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. You're walking into Burger King with a twenty dollar bill. It's all you got. As much as yeah, as much as you can. It's many different combinations. You pick. We'll come up with another one. And it's, or you know what you could do. Oh, okay. So that's very interesting. Can you write out, write that thinking out for me? What you just told me? Okay. The whole menu. It was twenty-two ninety-six. Interesting. Okay, Liz. What are you doing? You are doing your multiples of nine. Are you multiplying here? Are you adding here? So do you need your multiples of nine? <laughs> if you're adding? No, but this is a great strategy for multiplication. But right now you're just adding. Hey friends, give me five. When we are adding decimals, you have to have the decimal point in your problem. Mm -hmm. Unlike multiplication, 
where we get rid of it and then we bring it back in. I see a lot of people adding. I'm missing some decimal points. So please, please, please. That's really important because if I wanted to order the double stack from Wendy's and it's $4.36, that's very different than $400 and $436, right? So that decimal point has a purpose. So make sure you've got it in your answer. Some of you guys, your brains work so quickly, you came up with one combination, you hit almost 20 bucks right off the bat. That's awesome. But now what I need to see, because I need to see words, pictures, numbers, and symbols, you got the symbols and the numbers down. The hardest part of this is explaining your math thinking in words. So take on that challenge to explain your math thinking in words once you've gotten a combination. Shout out to Brielle for doing some rounding over there. I haven't seen anybody else doing some rounding and estimating before they started. Think about it. Might make your life a little bit round. easier. I don't have a good one to round. You don't have a good one to round? Because half of everything is like really, it's close to rounding. A Chick-fil-A so had chicken fries. Yeah. Now we're going to get the chicken hat, guys. Oh, I can totally go for a chicken wrap. You're on your way. Oh, two double stacks. Could you, where's your math for that, right here? Could you have multiplied if you wanted to? Yeah, oh, no, that's fine. You're being very flexible. Hey, start, you need some decimals. Hundreds column, right? Nope, not your tens. Start with your hundreds. Ones, tenths, hundredths. No, these are, this is your hundredths column, right? So you got to start there and work your way across like you would a normal addition problem. So if I were you, I would add my two eights together. If you double eight, what do you get? I know, I feel like this, should, we should have done this on the day that your mom brings you lunch every week. Mm hmm 16 plus 5? Plus 7. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Mm hmm so put your 8 and carry your 2. If you want 2 of everything, right? Yeah, if you want 2 of everything. That looks good. Your milkshake cup looks good. I would just do. Twenty bucks minus thirteen dollars and sixty five cents. Three dollars and thirty. Hamburger, fries, apple slices, and a soda. That's pretty darn tasty. Are you going for a coke or a sprite? What? What? Oh, you got it. Oh, you didn't spend much. So if you're at $6.32, could you order those couple things more than once? All right, friends, come back in five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Who has gotten close to... $20. Okay, Jacob, how much did you spend? $19.49. Let's see. Uh, what have you, you've got $18 and eight cents. So a little less than Jacob. James, what'd you do, man? I got $19.97. $19.97. How much closer, how much more does he have to spend to hit the $20? Three cents. three cents. Three cents. Is that possible, or is James walking away from McDonald's with three pennies in his pocket? <laughs> Good job, man. And what about you, Bellin? $19.42. $19.42 at Wendy's. So it looks like Bellin got a double stack cheeseburger, a frosty surprise, a baked potato, and guess what she threw in? A salad for some greens. <laughs> Nicely done. You've got a nice, well-rounded... Uh, menu there, and James left out. My friends that have the McDonald's, share with your neighbor if you've got a McDonald's on your table. James ordered everything but the McNuggets to get $19. So he could order everything on here except for the McNuggets for 20 bucks. That's pretty, that's a lot of food. That's a lot of meals. Awesome. I haven't heard anything from my Chick-fil-A friends. Oh. What's going on with Chick-fil-A? Oh, Jayla's almost done. Jayla, how much have you spent so far? 
1636 plus 3, So you're like right around 1960. What do you know about Chick-fil-A? How would you compare Chick-fil-A's prices to everybody else's? I heard somebody say, what? Expensive. Chick-fil-A is definitely more expensive than your Wendy's, your McDonald's, and your Burger King. 1940? Chick-fil-A. Oh, it was 1940. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thanks for coming to our classroom today. Good.